We are back at the ship. We have the Levy Stone in hand. And as much as we're at the point in the game where some of my memories are getting vague, I, and I'm sure many Final Fantasy 1 players, know exactly where we are going next. And we're all keeping it a secret from Rita because we want it to be a surprise. Okay, but if if all the, like, say we're, we're time travelers and none of us have played this game before, did players literally run around with this levy stone in their pockets and not figure out what the heck it was for until a friend of a friend mentioned that they figured it out? Probably, considering we're not receiving any real direction or guidance, but yeah, so probably a lot of exploring. What do I do with this? Where do I go next? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's in that, uh, that uh, tactic guide that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, well, I'm pretty stubborn about looking at guides. Like, I have to be, like, really stuck and have, like, tried everything before I will look at a guide. Mm-hmm. Pretty stubborn that way. In every way, Dustin. I know you. Yes. Well, I, I like the satisfaction of feeling like I figured it out on my own. I mean, it's... I mean, unless you're playing a game like Final Fantasy XI where it's kind of expected that you're going to look at a guide. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. We can just get right through here. We don't even have to go all the way around the long way like we did last time. Nice. All right. You're going to like this part. Okay. Somehow, I feel like we just need to bury this in the sand because that's what we do. We're cats. I don't know what pumpkin ate, but those are some serious stink clouds. You obtain an airship. We have no idea why it was here, who buried it. Everything is covered in sand and dried out cat poops. There oh, look at that, the map tilt. There might be an NPC that would have told us about that. If there is, I don't know. Someone can say it in the comments below. But yeah, we have an airship. I, I just remembered that from the old days because I remember the day I got that. First time I got through this game, I was like... Holy shit! So, can we land it anywhere? I think you can only land it on, like, like uh, just flat terrain, so like grass. Yeah. But if you try to land it, like, on trees, for example, it won't let you. And of course, you okay. can't land it on mountains either. Or in town. Okay. Yeah. Pumpkin, stop trying to land on the peak of the mountains. You're going to get us all killed. Can you land on the water? I mean, it's still a ship. It's got a hull and everything. Uh, no. Ah, uh, that would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, so there we go. We have an airship. No. We have, we have like, two entire continents up north that we haven't even explored mm -hmm. yet. The music is different. That's cute. Yeah. It's all upbeat and victorious. And as you can see, because we have the airship, they're like, okay, let's make it as difficult as possible for these warriors of light to land. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll just do a little bit of exploring. So we've got this town over here. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's a slice oh. of land up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're oh look, we went around the other side. Yeah, that's common in this in these games. You you'll have the world map, so that's like the entire world, mm -hmm. and then you'll just end up going on to the other side. That that's crazy. Yep. I've. I have never played a game that literally thinks that, okay, you've traveled far enough east, you end up west. I have never played a game that let you do that. Yep. Now, granted, I have a very limited knowledge there's a freaking hole in the earth there, but... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's other ones over here, too. Jeez. Like a friggin' ant colony. There's so many. Yeah. Okay. Are we supposed to pluck the holes with something? Plug the holes with something. Plug the holes. Plug the holes. Did you try going in there to see if, you know, something lives down there? Or no, no, I just got a shovel and I just started digging. Yep. So there's much. another there's another town over here. Mm-hmm. We should still keep an eye out for ports too, just in case. Oh, I haven't seen any. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, no, probably not. Yeah, because these would be airship accessible areas. So, looks like we could land over here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to that town that was, uh, like, can you... Uh, this town over here? No, no, the one that we first saw when we when we took off. Oh, to the east? Yeah, the southeast. Like, I think there was enough space that you could land literally... Oh, there's a castle there, but... No, not that one. Southeast. Yeah, I'm just getting a lay of what's out here. Okay. We've opened up, like, so many new horizons now, so... Okay, so that's... Looks... Yep, yeah, that's shallow water. That looks like it could be... That'd be a one hell of a hike, but... Through here... No? Okay. Alright, I'll start heading to that town. So, it is surrounded by forest. I don't think we can land on Swampland. No. There. Is there enough space right in front of their gates there to land? No. No, they... no I think they deliberately want you to land up here. Oh. Well, we got a whole other half of the world to explore now. Shall we head to that town? Alrighty. Oh, wow. The wildlife up here is no joke. Ooh. Beach. At least it missed. Yeah, earthquake. That's like an insta-death move. Eesh. I think things just got real. You can definitely tell we're getting into, like, the end game portion now. I don't suppose the game gives you an item where it's like, take this potion and the wildlife will leave you alone for several... Like, you know how in some of those no. Pokemon games, if you'd want to stop running into shit in the tall grass? Yeah, the repels and the super repels. Yeah. Yeah, no, nothing. Maybe in later Final Fantasies, I'm I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, okay. And this one, no, no. Okay. There's nothing you can do to mitigate the you. horrific encounter rate. Wow. Right outside the right outside the gates of this town. Don't worry. It's wyverns. Wow. They're so big you couldn't even fit nine of them on the screen for the maximum. I think it's neat. I, I, I think it uh, goes without saying that nobody leaves town. At, like, ever. Well, that kind of applies to everybody in every <laughs> town here because there doesn't seem to be communication in between the towns. The first king didn't even fix his damn bridge. <laughs> We're still good. We're still ragging on him for that. Oh, yeah. Friggin' guy. All right, let's see what town this is. Lufenia. Okay. Seems to be inhabited by hippies. Lupagamido? The hell you say to me? Lupagamido? Me speaky English. That's dead. What? I made an effort to communicate. I wasn't trying to be rude. <laughs> it wasn't a very refined or professional way to communicate, but... There's, like, nothing here. Yeah, like, there seem to be a whole lot of fountains and these homes that are inaccessible, like, no shops. This is almost like going to, like, a ghost town where everything's, like, old and decrepit, except there's actually, like, people walking around. Well, they're all dressed the exact same, Dustin, and they're all looking like kind of mystical robes, but uh, self-contained, uh, cut off from the world. Dustin, this is obviously a cult. <laughs> Lupa Gami Do, Church of Flying Spaghetti Monster Do, and we are leaving. All hail his noodliness. <laughs> Let's take a peek at your reflection in the water. You're filthy. Excuse me, I use my tongue like a professional to clean myself. <laughs> well, I think we're done here. Well, maybe something will come up later to give us a hint about what good this town is? You know, looking out... And you see that big desert up there? Yeah. There's what looks like a tower out there. Yeah, yeah, just bang in the middle. But can we act... Oh, you know what? We could take the airship, and do you see there's a little... Like a little slice of land to the southeast of that desert? We could land down there. Okay. It can't... Yeah. No, ho hold on. The airship came out of the sand. We can't land it on sand? No. 
It's got to be like what? like generic, like generic green grass. That's bullshit. Ooh, minotaur zombies. Huh. It's all the minotaurs that we killed back in that earth cavern. Hey, if they're zombies, does that make them undead? I should hope so. Let's find out. Unless, you know, little Sunny kills them first. That sword animation is so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm such a geek. Oh, look at that! Yeah, zombie is distinctly means it's undead. Yes. I would have called bullshit if that didn't work. Hat, because they're minotaurs. Your terminology is inaccurate. And it really damaged my gameplay experience. I'm going to write about this on my Instagram. Barretta? Yeah. Barretta. Is that like a member of the... I think that's a member of like the Adamantois family. Like I mean, it kind of looks like a turtle. It definitely looks like a turtle. I'm trying to remember if Barretta is like a real life animal of some sort or whether I'm getting confused. Like, I consider myself pretty good at being able to identify animals by sight or by name, but, like, that one got me confused. I could just see it. We're in the Final Fantasy world. We're, like, about to get, like, absolutely annihilated by a dragon, and you're like, judging by the uh, scales on this dragon's body and the size of its wingspan, this is a run! <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time for science! Well, excuse me, if it's got four legs and wings, it is no longer a dra If it has got four legs and wings, then it is a dragon. If it has only two legs and wings, then it's a wyvern. If it has none of the above, then it is merely a worm. That's when that rainbow pops above the head. The more you know. Yep. With Rita Rage Cat. Oh, I think this is the tower that we saw in the opening. Remember when they were, like, talking about, like, all the effects that the... That's where I saw that tower yeah. before. Okay. Yeah, I knew that looked familiar. I wonder if these guys are weak to ice. Possibly weak to ice. Adamantois and turtles in Final Fantasy tend to be weak to ice. All right, let's pop in this tower. What? What? Oh, I can't even, like, interact with it. Oh, we're not hmm. a high enough level to interact with this. Or something hasn't happened in the story. Um. Why don't we try and see if we can go to that other town in the west? Okay. Yeah, let's let's try that. Yeah, I mean, there was the other small town, and then there was, like, the castle in the middle of nowhere. Allosaurus. Dinothor! I'm sorry, we've been... In, like seeing all sorts of like undead and mythical beasts and here we are in you know Cretaceous era Alberta yeah sure out in the <laughs> desert dinosaurs like I haven't eaten anything in three years there's nothing but sand there is okay, a castle please. out here yeah there was a castle in the middle there we go hmm. and then there's various holes yeah Let's, what do you think of that idea? We'll just try, because right now, like, we're, we're kind of at that point where we have, like, too many options. Mm -hmm. So we were hitting a lot of dead ends out, out on the eastern, the northeastern continent. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just try going to this town? Okay. You like that idea? Yeah, we'll try the town. If we don't get any additional information, we'll go to that, you know, white castle in the middle of nowhere. White castle? I feel like I stumbled into a reference I'm not too sure that I did. <laughs> like White Castle, the restaurant. Pumpkin just perks up White Castle. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the movies, but that was some kind of comedy movie. with Harold and it? Kumar. But White okay. Castle is actually a chain in the United States. Oh, are they any good? Or are they kind of like a knockoff McDonald's? I've never had White Castle before, so I, I can't really say. I, I don't know. You've been to the States more than I have. I have, but I never actually went to, to White Castle. Okay. I think it's on the to-do list, though. I just okay, pictured, so right when, sorry, not, I didn't mean to derail your thought, but right when you said White Castle, I just pictured popping up, White Castle? We're going to White Castle, so I'm guessing it's a burger chain? Yeah, Pumpkin yeah. would be interested in that. I want some sliders. 
like 30 of them. On rack. Okay, well this place actually has shops. And a rather large cemetery. Look, yeah. look, Dustin! They have strippers! Ooh, a dancing girl. Look at my legs. Aren't they wonderful? I love having legs. Look, look, did you see that move I just did? Wow. Hi. Narcissism in action. You ever hear of something called Oxy Ale? Sure haven't. They say that the shrine sank into the sea 200 years ago. Now there are mermaids living there. Or so the story goes. This is... Oh, this is the chapel to revive people. Mm -hmm. The necromancer a... shop. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's funny. It's a well. It looks like you could climb inside, but you can't. Really. It's just okay. square enix having a dry sense of humor. That underhill fella from the caravan had something very weird for sale. Okay, so we need to find the caravan. There's somebody with an eye patch here. Out of me way. Blast it. I haven't been able to catch me a single fish. How am I supposed to keep food on me plate and hick in my belly? Well, if you go canoeing, we were running into piranhas. I mean, they might try to kill you, but to be fair, you're trying to kill them, so mm. eye for an eye. Cop's been spreading some nonsense story about how he saw a shining thing fall out of the sky. It's a gravestone. They say this used to be a beautiful village until about 200 years ago. I do recall them saying that the, I believe it was the Fiend of Wind showed up 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the Fiend of Water showed up 200 years ago. So I think it's safe to say we're going after the Water Crystal next. Mm -hmm. My father's with the caravan. Right now they're over in the desert to the west. They usually pitch camp by the forest near the north of the desert. I hope he comes home soon. Ooh, okay. Spell shop. Are those legs really? Um. Uh. Okay, so we have two people oddly obsessed with legs, and they mention mermaids. Yeah, I um, I don't even know how to how, how to answer that. Just wanna be part of your world. There's a dragon. You have the look of a warrior about you. I'm a warrior myself on a pilgrimage to the Citadel of Trials to earn the recognition of the Dragon King. I must return with a token proving my strength and courage. Well, King Dragon just walking around. Hey, it's an inclusive community. The sunken shrine is said to be filled with riches. Silver, gold, diamonds, even tablets describing lost languages and civilizations if you believe the legends. I mean, hey, if they're okay with a dragon, wyvern, whatever, walking around town, they won't give two shits that we're cats. Mm-hmm. Long ago, an ancient race known as the Sky People used a langu language called Lufenian. That was the place we went to. Yeah. My so brother, a shining... Oh, sorry. My brother, Un, would always tell me how he'd figure out how to speak it if he only had the Rosetta Stone. Okay, so a shining thing fell from the sky... Um, Lufenian is an ancient sky people language, which matches the town that nobody could, we could understand. They're talking about a sunken, a sunken shrine with great riches, which includes a Rosetta stone, which might help us understand the language. They're also saying a token that'll sh uh, show the dragon king that that guy's got his shit together. So there's that too. Yeah. Well, cool. We're getting some information. That's Finally. always nice in this game. Hi, my name's Cop. Hmm? You want to hear about the shining object I saw? I think it fell somewhere near the waterfall to the north. No one believes me, but I think it was some kind of mechanical creature. I wanted to save the mermaids living on the seafloor, so I made this submarine out of a barrel. But when I went underwater, I started running out of air. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. It's totally useless. Even worse, it's dangerous. You would better keep away. <laughs> So what did you think that... was going to happen? <laughs> so is that just another red herring, or are we going to use the submarine later? I feel like we're probably going to use it later, but probably need a way to breathe underwater. Yep. I'm guessing so. My, my memories of the game are so hazy at this point. Mm -hmm. 200 years ago, the Shrine of Onrak flourished. It brimmed with the power of water. I ask but one thing of you. Please, restore that power to its former grace. That's... That's kind of what we do. 
I did actually quite enjoy the dialogue of the well. It looks mm -hmm. like you could climb in, but you can't. That's like something like you're playing like a tabletop game and you're like, could I technically climb inside the well? And your DM's like, uh, you could, but I'm just not going to let you. No, my DM is very fond of you can certainly try. <laughs> yeah. So there was talk of a caravan camp being set up near the desert and yeah, something for shiny falling, uh, something shiny that crashed down near the waterfall to the north. Yeah, so waterfall to the north, and the caravan was talking about they're camped at a forest north of the desert. I think we might have to canoe to get to that waterfall. Yeah, sounds about right. Do you want to shoot for the water waterfall first? We'll go investigate it's, that. Yeah, it's closer than trying to figure out the desert, so. See, I told that guy there's fish out here. I don't know how good they are to eat, but there's fish out here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Apparently crocodiles and alligators and such, they taste like chicken. Can't say I've ever had crocodile or alligator. I mean, I'm not too sure about crocodile, but I do know that alligator meat is a thing in the southern state, especially the tail. It's quite fatty and tastes like chicken, apparently. I'm willing to try if I had the opportunity. I'd try it if it was in front of me. Mm -hmm. It's right up there with, like, uh, out in Australia. Kangaroo meat is a thing. I'd try it. Yeah. Oh, there's a waterfall. Waterfall oh. cavern. And there's mummies. There we go. Of course there's mummies. Naturally. Mummies everywhere. One thing you can That's count on in this game. There's undead literally everywhere. See, mummies just kind of, when you think about it, have an unfortunate uh, realization. When you see zombies and skeletons and whatnot, that means that somebody met an unfortunate end in their mortal remains or their spirit is still shambling around. A mummy, though, that means that somebody's mortal remains were carefully preserved and taken care of and they were buried here with a purpose. So yeah. this was used as a graveyard and now <laughs> the mummies are up and walking. This is where you like, I'm sorry, your services are no longer required. Okay, I guess I'll have to go find work elsewhere and don't tell my family. Oh no, you're not leaving. This is where <laughs> they dump the bodies. Ooh, that's dark. Wow. That's like a whole other subplot. Yeah, basically if you're no longer useful in life, they just make you into an undead shambler in some way, shape, or form and make you into basically a guard dog. Ooh, we touched on some dark lore here. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I'm in the minority here, and anybody watching, feel free to comment in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I would love to see this game get, like, a, like a remake. Like, um, there's that Strangers in Paradise Final Fantasy game, which is kind of like a prequel-ish to Final Fantasy 1. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 7 got its remake. I haven't finished the Final Fantasy VII Remake at the time of recording this video. But I do like all the extra stuff that they threw in there. Not everybody likes it, you know. Some people, like, they, you know, the original game is great the way it is. But I did like all the different, like, side quests and stuff they threw in to flesh out the world. I think there's so much opportunity for that in this, in this one. You know, you can have the core story, the going after the crystals and liberating them and getting the airship and all that stuff but it'd be really cool to go into like these fully like 3d high definition towns all voice acted and go up to all these people and be like oh the warriors of light i need help mm -hmm. it's like my husband and all his friends went missing oh yeah we found them yay they're uh they were all murdered and bandaged up and left in a waterfall cave oh I actually had a. I still a expect to get paid. <laughs> I actually had a different thought process. So you said Final Fantasy, like the original game, the original. Oh, I'll let you fight these guys for a second here. Oh, oh those you, guys. You, you go ahead with your story. It looks like it's just another run of the mill fight here. 
Okay, so I remember you told me that the original game studio that came up with this guy, they were like on hard times, and they just kind of threw together this Final Fantasy, not thinking that it would save their company the way it did, and then they just, you know, changed to the company that does Final Fantasy and only Final Fantasy. So imagine uh, they do, if they you do other stuff too. I know, but like they were, they were on the verge of losing everything, and they make the Final Fantasy game. Yeah, to my understanding what, of what I've read, yeah. Yeah. So imagine, if you will, in the maybe not so distant future, where Enix is on hard times. They don't seem to be just. They just don't seem to be hitting the right notes anymore. Everything's kind of a flop. And then they're all, they all turn to like their boss and be like, "What do we do? What do we do? We can't come up with anything new. Like, what do we do?" And they sigh and they kind of go, "All right, time to make the remake of Final Fantasy One." And it will be our final fantasy. <laughs> the final final fantasy. We just got yeah, a ribbon. Yeah, call him that. What's that do? Um, traditionally in these RPGs, the ribbon prevents like negative status changes. Uh huh. Yeah. So, assuming if that's what it does in Final Fantasy One, let's give that to Bastet because it. In a lot of games, it prevents, like, basically, like, negative stat debuffs, like poison, blind, etc. Okay. We don't want our healer suffering that. We also got a wizard staff, which Sunny can't use. What? Why? He's a mage. Right? Okay, now I'm just imagining, like, the, uh, the little mage, Sunny, like, holding on to her little knife like no no you can't take it you can't take my shiny <laughs> knife away i don't want the staff staff like that casts confused when used hmm. that's really interesting i'm not sure why neither of them can use it maybe i think it's a red mage staff or i don't know hmm. defender is that a sword isn't that a nope that's that's a spell, isn't it? No. No, we don't find spells and treasure chests in this game. Oh. Yeah, it's a sword. A sword okay. that casts blink when used. But... Interesting. Pumpkin can't use it either. Maybe they need to be leveled up some more before they can use them? Well, they're not even coming up as options. I have been waiting... Take this cube, Tiamat, Flying Fortress, please. Obtain the warp cube. Oh dear. Buzz were. I think he's broken. So something about Tiamat, which wasn't mentioned before. And a cube that I don't know how it works yet. Yeah. If I remember correctly, I think Tiamat is one of the one of the fiends. Oh, okay. The fiend of air, I think. Oh. If my memory serves me correctly, that's a name that pops up in quite a few of the Final Fantasies as well, too. You'll see some recurring names. Okay, so Flying Fortress. Do you think Tiamat is in this Flying Fortress, or do you think Tiamat is responsible for a Flying Fortress dying? I don't know. I honestly can't remember, but if this, if the name of this cube suggests warping, that would probably get us to said fortress, I would mm -hmm. think. I honestly can't remember, which I'm kind of okay with, because we're at the point now where... I can't remember a whole heck of a lot, so it's almost like I'm seeing parts of the game again for the first time. Mm-hmm. Which is okay with me. Mm -hmm. These are kind of pretty, these uh, nightmares. Until I kill them. Yep. <laughs> these are kind of pretty, and Sunny's like, yeah, they're kind of dead. <laughs> they're kind of frozen and shattered into pieces.